Windows Admin Center has the ability to open up Device Manager just as you would in your control panel or in your system settings on a Windows 2019 server. And we can control other servers as well. So we see that we have our local server, file server one, and we have our domain controller listed in Windows Admin Center. Let's open up the local server first. And we can see under devices, this is the same as device manager. So we're going to see all of our devices listed here. And we can even do things like disable the device or update the driver as well. So let's take a look, for instance, at the network adapter. So we see all the different categories that you would normally see in your device manager. And if we take, for instance, our printer queues. So if we clicked on any one of our printer queues and we decided we wanted to update the driver, we could just click on update driver here and we could choose to automatically find the driver or if we have the driver in a particular location, we can browse to it and then we can go ahead and choose to update it. And we can do the same thing from our other server as well. So if I go to, for instance, DC1, which is a domain controller, I can click on devices and I get the same list of devices. And I can do the same things here that I could do on my local computer. Now you can install Windows Admin Center on a Windows 10 PC as well as any server. So you don't have to do this from the server itself. You could do this from any workstation. And from any workstation you can connect as long as you have the correct username and password to any server that may be running this particular Windows Admin Center as well. So if we take a look at some of the properties that we can see in our Windows Admin Center Device Manager, for instance, we'll click on the volume, we click on driver, we can see the driver information, we click on details, and we can see all of the information about the, the uh, details of the device as well. Let's go to the storage controllers, and once again, the driver, the details, and we can update the driver as well. Now you'll notice that on some of the devices you can update the driver but you can't disable the device and that's because it's required in order to run that particular device so you cannot disable it. While other devices say such as the network adapter uh, we can go in and disable the device if we want to. So that's a quick look at the device manager or devices in Windows Admin Center running on Windows Server 2019.